Um, I've been struggling for the past on my past few videos to figure out what the best sort of formula or way to set out it, set my videos out is, and what I've decided is that I'm going to record the beginning bit, this intro, sort of like um, first ideas of the on the product or thoughts on the product um, when it first arrives um, if it's vape mail um, and then I'm going to use it for a few weeks and then I'll do the ending uh, I know the continuity of those videos is <laughs> could have been non-existent um, but I want to try it for a few videos so what I've got to review today is this double deck double deck um, oh, this is from Fast Tech, and um, I completely forgot I bought it. To be honest with you, it turned up today. I think I bought it a few weeks ago. Um, and I think it's advertised on their website as a Vivi Nova tank. And we're not going to go into that clone inside of things today, but um, yeah, it says it. I think it's. I don't know if it's called a double deck, I just know it. I can remember buying it. Uh, I remember it saying that it was a, a Vivinova tank. Uh, but I'm sure if you type in double deck, it will come up. Um, right, so we'll go to close up cam, I'll show you it. I'll explain why I bought it, because I've remembered why I bought it. So let's do that. So, this is the box here. Looks very similar to a Vivinova box. Oh no, this is what's inside. So this is the tank. Yeah. And it's a rebuildable. It's got one in it, a coil in it. It's got a spare one that says 2.8 arms and a 1.8 arms one. Um Pretty simple rebuildable tank, one of the most simple ones you can get. Top that screws off, middle section screws off, rubbers feel really tight. There we go. Pretty easy to rebuild on those, and I'll, I'll do a video showing how it works. No adjustable centre pin, but didn't expect one. So, the reason I bought this is because I've got another video on an RB1 by Totally Wicked. So go and check that out if you're interested. And I had it for a while, loved it. But the, these parts, top, bottom, didn't screw together. Didn't, yeah, they, they were held by rubbers. So, the only way when it had been used for a while because the rubbers were tight the top came off pretty easy but to get this off on the RB1 you really had to force it and didn't have this lip like this it wasn't possible to get purchased like there is here and just twist and pull you had to screw it onto a device and I screwed it onto a device one day and tried twisting it and it just kept screwing it onto the device tighter and then loosening it off and I pulled and the whole thing just came to, just fell apart now I had it a while but I still believe that there was that it, there was a design fault there um, so that's why I purchased this because I like this style of tank and didn't really want to get an RB1 again just in case it happened again so I must point out um, to, win to fill this you've got this post here, I don't know if you can see that, this weird looking post that just protrudes slightly all you do is unscrew that like so and then you've got a little hole, now you'll need a needle nose bottle or a syringe you just put it in there and it fills the tank up 
when screwing this back on back in you just screw it down hand tight down to the bottom because it's not going to leak and that was, otherwise it's too difficult to get it back out now it's not being filled up or used yet as I said because I'm going to I'm going to use it for a few weeks and then do my final thoughts That's, I can then explain any problems that I've come across along the way um, so yeah we'll go back to normal cam right guys so I'm just going to fill the tank up and uh, we'll give it a vape and I'll finish off the video so I've just stuck it on the EVIC here just to check it and the coil that's in it when it comes says it's 2.6 so there's 2.6 and the other ones were 1.8 and 2.8 um, so we'll just take this out and like I said you need a syringe or a needle nose bottle um, to fill it up I've got a needle nose bottle and in it I have put some uh, some juice uh, no, right it's too small uh, premier smoke juice it's called and it's a 50-50 mix uh, ice cream flavour and I got this from Cloud Atlas Vapes it's called um, got a website also got a market stall in Wakefield West Yorkshire so you just basically you put the needle in the hole and you fill it up so I'm not going to fill this right right up there we go just to kick it off I am I've checked this as well no hot spots or anything it doesn't look like a bad uh, Badly made coil, um, really, compared to some of the ones that I've had when you buy stuff from Chinese companies. Not fast tech in particular, but just all of them really. No, there were no hot spots, nothing. I might as well use that last bit. Oh no, there's a bit more than I thought. Now the capacity for this tank is something I cannot remember what uh, how much did I put in there I think it's probably about four half mil I'll just just check um, price I don't know if I mentioned the price earlier either um, so I paid um, oh it's 2.8 mil I think it's near a 3 um, and I paid not much $5.73 well I'll tell you in dollars because obviously it depends on the exchange rate at the time but I think it was about £4 so it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the RB1 um, yeah so so yeah don't sound too bad producers so screw the top back on so usually I finish my videos off after a couple of days weeks so but I've had a couple of these now and I don't really need to it's gonna work you know it's simple they're easy to rebuild um, and the rubber seal and the design of being able to unscrew it is opposite to other which is different to other styles like this um, it works much better I think so the the really simple they're just you know they're easy devices to use and I've never had a problem with them 
and the coils that come with it you know you get three but to make up your own they're pretty pretty simple straightforward there's nothing complicated about it so you should never have a problem with anything like this so we'll give it a vape and we'll finish the video off flavors amazing I was told by Cloud Atlas Vapes that the ice cream taste it does taste like ice cream but it's a, a posh ice cream the ice cream that's actually made out of custard rather than just cream it's nice not too sweet it's a lovely flavor um, it's 2.6 and that one on 6.4 volts I'm kicking it up to a seven. Um so we'll give it another try. I don't think the juice are properly soaked in there even even though I'd primed it as well. That's better. So it produces a nice amount of vapour. Draws very tight. Um, let's try it on something else. I've not done this in my last couple of videos. I've bought stuff and I've just I've tried it on the Evic just because it's easy and I like to check the ohms and show what the actual ohms are. I'm going to try the K uh, K100, which is what I bought it for. The device I bought it for. So let's give this a go. So the draw's not as tight on there, um, because this is sits so flush, I think when it's sat on here, on, on the EVIC, I think it's closing off the air, whereas this one, is, the air holes for this one are down here. So, so it works better on here, which I'm happy about, seeing as it's the device I bought it for. So yeah, produces as it should. Yeah, all round I'm I'm happy with it. Um, it's a noisy draw though. But yeah, it's working well. Yeah. So I'll probably do another video on this at some point, showing how to recoil it. Um, don't know whether I'll use the ones that came with it. I'll probably make up some of my own and show you with that because obviously you've only got the one that's in it in another two once they're done you're going to need to know how to remake your own so I'll probably do that so if you managed to watch this whole video I know it's been another long one I'm trying trying to keep them short but um, I just remember more and more information I want to say so I'll try and make my next one shorter have a look for them I've got some interesting stuff coming um, some more some more actual devices, battery tubes, whatever, uh, kick, um, which I'll probably try with the new device when it comes, uh, drippers, maybe some flavour reviews, so yeah, just keep a look out for those, thanks for watching guys, um, there's put some possible giveaways coming up as well, um, I need some more subscribers for that though, and once I get some more subscribers, there's a couple of things that I'm going to give away, so keep a lookout for those. Uh, like the videos. Any comments would be much appreciated. Um, and please subscribe. So thanks for watching.